back like we never left. SV here with a live reaction to the beginning after the end. This week we're reading chapter 168, so you know the vibes. The cliffhanger of last chapter where we saw our boy Gramps head to the side of Cynthia Goodsky, who we see is in a coma after giving up info on her homeland. So let's get into it and see what's good. t chapter 168, from princess to soldier. Let's get it. We start off, I assume someone someone getting slashed. Darvis, switch positions with, with Stanard. We see homeboys <laughs> smirking. Careful leader, if you die on us, your grandfather will murder us all. Oh shit, so we see, this is Tessia's group. Oh snap! So homeboy cuts him with a with a with a, like a, a, an axe, yeah. And we see the vines pop up, and we know who that is, vines for. Oof! And we see vines come out from the ground and wrap this kind of ogre monster straight up. And then king 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 king, three slashes. Oh please! Oof! And we see a shot of Tessia. Full armor with her vine sword going crazy, bro. Oof, I love her design, bro. I love her design, dude. Oh my God, she looks so good. She looks so good. Oh, please. Do you want me to count all the times I've saved your ass? Let's go, Tessia. <laughs> we see somebody swings. Boom. Oh, who is this? We see some girl with a with the brass, with the reinforced knuckles, just boom, punch a monster and explode its head. Don't start a battle you can't win, Darvis. Sheesh, who is this, bro? And then we see the squad, we see their squad, bro, against of all these like, like beastmen monsters, bro, you know what I'm saying? We see like ogre, we see like wolf dudes. I love how this girl with the with the punches, bro. She just, I love that. Cause we haven't really seen anybody just with just with hands, you know, like with just hands. I ain't seen that in a minute. Stranard, have you um have you found the pack leader yet? These gorillas just keep coming out of nowhere. Okay, so Stranard's in the back looking. Oh shit! Not yet. And we see he has some kind of like, some kind of like scoped gun, bro. He has it mounted on his shoulder. He has it attached to the side and he has like a scope on it. Oh shit. Hey leader, I think we should fall back. There's too many of them for just our team to handle. Yeah, like we've seen nonsense cordry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the straight hand to hand combat. We ain't seen that, you know what I'm saying? Since Cordry, you're right. There's too many of us for our, just our team to handle. You're right. This was supposed to be a scouting excursion, not a full blown assault. Okay. So they're about to dip off. And we see Tessia still cutting these dudes down. Cling, cling. Yo, everyone, fall back. And we see they dip off. We see Tessia, Darvis, old girl with the with the punchy punchy, and Stranar dipping off. Those lucky those lucky wand those lucky wand wavers sitting behind the lines and firing off spells while they gossip with each other. Shit, I'm dead. <laughs> hey, that's degrading. I'm weak. Wow. So they start. They started talking shit about the people, the casters in the back, because they have to be in the front lines. I'm crying, bruh. Hey, that's the grading. Stranard, I'm going to hold them down. Go all out. Understood. Okay. Oh, her name is Karia. Darvis, Karia. Better not, better get out the way. Okay, so he dip off. Is he going to, what's he going to shoot, bruh? Oh, okay. No, it's Tessia. So as, as Stranard tells um, Karia and Darvis to dip off out of the way, Tessia sends a, like, a line of vines straight to their position towards the monsters. Yo, the, the vines are crazy, bro. 
and we see the vine shh, grab, wrap up all these monsters and it's over. Ivy prison. Oh shit. Grrr. Oh shit. And we see old boy. Old boy puts a kind of like red orb into his gun, which I assume it's like some kind of fire magic. And he opens the scope and you see a bright light, a bright light from his gun, boom. Yo, shit. Percussion, propulsion blast, boom. Oh shit. And we see a huge like beam of light come straight out of the old boy's gun. It looks powerful too. Like the recoil sends him flying back and the amount of wind like being caused by this beam is insane, bro. I love where we're getting Tessia in the front lines right now, bro. You know, like after just seeing her two chapters ago, talk to her grams about wanting to be in the front lines and we get that instantly, like dude, it's so good. It's so good. Yo. And when we see that, when, when this shit, when this line of like beam light connects with the people who are being wrapped in the Ivy prison, and all you see is a giant radial explosion, bro. Like, what's up with that gun, bro? Who made that gun? Is that a Gideon exclusive? What's up? Boom! You see a giant explosion, they're like, yeah! Everyone's hype. Ha! <laughs> And we see Tessia and her Tessia and her squad just right here cooling. <sighs> Bro, I love this. I love seeing her with her with her own squad, dude. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy uh size. Another new spell you mixed up? I'm crying. Yup. The recoil is a bit painful though. See, I told you the recoil now would look crazy. So this dude made that spell. Which would make which makes sense, but shit, that's kind of sick. Like, he, but that's so tight. Like he made a spell and was able to put it into his gun. Like that shit's so tight to me, bro. Yeah, that's fucking sick, dude. The prequel is a bit painful though. That's why I keep telling you you should train more with me, and I keep telling you. There's no way in hell I train with you, you compact package of savagery. Damn. <laughs> Shit. You have to borrow that, you compact package of savagery? Damn. <laughs> and they also start walking off as the fires in the background. Classic movie scene, bro. Classic movie scene, bro. But with the explosion in the background as they all walk off and the fires in the back, bro. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they're laughing. All right, all right. Save the band when let's get going. The fire won't hold them too long. Um, hold them for too long, okay. Yes, time for supper. Oof. Okay, what does Tessia see? Oh, I'm dead. So he goes, time for supper, and everyone's face goes pale, bro. Tessia goes pale, and the other two go pale, they go, yup. Can't wait for another dinner with the same old mush that the cooks keep calling food. Ugh. Any chance our leader whom we love and appreciate so much and who also happens to be a princess can hook her precious teammates up with some real food? Gross, Tessio says, gross. <laughs> Back off, slime ball, as she pops him in the face. Bing. If you want to beg for favors, you better off covering your face while you do it. Nah. And she put tongue out of, out of, out of Darvis. Nah. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful, shorty. I'm not short. I'm petite and cute too. I'm crying. <laughs> bro, I love that we're getting the banter between Tessia's squad, bro. I love it. I love this, bro. Right, Tessia? Mm. She takes her, puts up Tessia's face. Oh, please. Shenard here is petite. 
He could pass for a 10 year old, I'm crying. You, on the other hand, are just short and barbaric. Why do you always include me in your squabbles, Stranard says. Guys, please, we're all in a dungeon covered in blood, sweat, and grime. None of us are particularly easy to look at right now. Says you, Tessa, you look always fine, bruh. Although, I'm sure a nice shower would help. Flip. Oh, okay, so they flip. They knock on some kind of like giant door and we see whoop, a little slot open with some eyes and then whoop, door opens, huge door. Is this the main camp? Oh shit. So door opens and we see a, a little settlement, bro. Yo, what's good Dre brothers? We doing well, bro. We see a giant like cavern with, it has like little like stone huts it looks like, pillars and shit, walkways, tents, all this stuff. This is like their base camp, I guess. Yep, it's a base camp, beautiful. We see a bunch of tents, medical tents, a tower, a campfire, classic base camp shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay then, wash up everyone. Ooh, so we see everyone washes up, we cut away. Tessia in an all back loungewear, she looks so, bro. They make it a point to make Tessia look so good, bro. When, it, no matter what scene she's in, bro, she always looks so good. You're, yo, Soul King, it's good, gang. Bruh, it's crazy. In this all black, like, like, um, sweatsuit with like the, the sash. Bitch is gorgeous, bro. She's gorgeous, bro. Oh my God. So we see she goes to have a shower to all the homies. My man trying to make a fire. Everyone's laughing at him. Tink, 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 tink. Can't make a fire. Hey, he finally got it though. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I love this, bro. So Tessio, she walks up on them, right? And she sees them in present time where they're all laughing as a crew and they're, you know, she, he's trying to, um, Darvish trying to make the, the fire, you know what I'm saying? She sees that, right? And then she flashes back to, I guess, the first time they were a squad and they're like not friends. You can clearly see they don't fuck with each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're all like just looking on, like not really talking and shit. Yeah, he has premium jeans for sure, bro. You see? We've come quite a long way in just three months. Okay, so this is three months since the chapter we read two chapters ago. Tessia. Helen. It's good to see you guys. Hey, it's our crew, bro. Bro, it's the twin horns. Oh my God, where's Jasmine? Where is Jasmine? It's good to see you guys, team. I'd like to meet, I'd like you to meet Helen Shard, Durden Walker, Jasmine Flamesworth, oh my girl, Adam Kranesh and Angelo Rose of the Twin Horns. I love Jasmine, bro. I love them. Oh, let's go. I love seeing them again, bro. Oh, my heart. My heart, man. True. I'm happy to see everyone's alive, bro. My girl Jasmine, bro. My girl Jasmine, bro. What's up, Anna Palm? And this is... It's a pleasure to meet you, madame. I'm crying. Darvis Cranell, fourth and most handsome son of a distinguished house of Cranell. And he puts his hand through his hair, as well as the most lazy and spoiled arrogant son, facts. <laughs> but arrogant for a good reason. Darvis was a talented prodigy in mana control and had the reflexes to match. Um, Cla um Clarell, then you must be you must be uh, a reader. Yes, ma'am. How did you know? Seeing as the Reed family has served the Carnell family for generations, 
and the fact that the mana control around your body is impeccable. I gathered as much. Okay. <laughs> Where's the one with the big tits? <laughs> He's like on his priorities and straight, bro. <laughs> bro, it's so funny. <laughs> The Reed family were just uh, as known for the unique gauntlet techniques as the Carmels were known for their axemanship, okay? And that's why she has the like the sick gauntlet hands where she can punch punch, you know what I'm saying? This included Karia, whose parents had failed to produce any sons, okay? With Darvis being kicked out of the house and onto battle, by his father as soon as he received a, yellow, a solid yellow core stage. And Karia, who had basically been exiled after being raised as a son her whole life by her traditional parents. Mm. The two made quite a pair. That's so interesting that she was like thrown away by her parents, like exiled because she wasn't a boy. So fucked, dude. And she's sick, dude. Karia's is tight. Still, despite his crass personality, Darvis only really cared about two things, flirting with women and watching out for his childhood friend, his childhood friend, Karia. Karia Ree was just as headstrong as Darvis, maybe more so, but was also bright and optimistic despite her harsh upbringing. <gasps> I love her. She was also the glue that held this team together. Gah! Can you not always resort to violence, you vicious little mouse? <laughs> she has, oh boy, a chokehold, bruv. <laughs> you two are kind of like Arthur and Tessia. I'm weak. And Tessia looks, I'm like, huh? As Jasmine says that. <laughs> Everyone laughs. Tessia's like, what do you mean? <laughs> drap, drap, chuckle, chuckle. Ooh, what kind of crossbow is that? I've never seen one like that before. He was dead. Man, oh my God, that's it. <laughs> oh, um, you see, I had to get it made because of my deviant powers. Or I guess I made it, but yeah. Strenard here can store actual spells into beast cores. So that's how he did it. I was curious. To how we put it, uh, like a spell into a little orb, but it's into a beast core. Whoa. He's like, sounds expensive. True. Definitely. And everyone goes, I'm like, whoa. Jasmine's like, huh? look at him, I'm like, shocked. Shannon made a very distinct um, impression during his assessment. He had been introduced to my grandfather, my grandfather, by Professor Gideon. I knew Gideon was involved, bro. A dark yellow stage conjurer at the time with a dual affinity for fire and wind. But he had a deficiency in his mana core, which prevented him from storing the normal amount of mana for his core level. Interesting. Still, Shannon proved that his particular and useful deviant powers made up for it. My team was one of the youngest groups stationed here, fighting for our country each day in these dungeons. It made me so proud. We could hold our own just as well, and the vision here had been doing fine. Um, so, so though I was thrilled to see them, I couldn't help but wonder. What brings you all here exactly? Why are the Twin Horns here right now? We just came back from the wall. Though it's hard, it's been hard at the wall. We were sent here to help with scouting. And it's best you prepare for what's to come. And that's it, come on, dude. What did they see at the wall, bro? Oh, yeah. 
I'm so curious what they saw at the wall, bro. They saw Titans? I'm weak. <laughs> Dude. I love this chapter, bro. This was, I'm a really big fan of these, like, personal character chapters, you know? Like, I really enjoyed learning about Tessia's group, her, like, you know, her squad. I re and then seeing the twin horns again, bro, like, my heart's singing right now, bro. Singing. Bro. But I'm curious about what they're here for, what they saw, bro. That's what I'm... That's what I want to know. What they saw. Maple, I fully, fully agree. The chapter was too happy, bruh. Something is going to go left soon. Soon. We know. So I'm curious, bruh. The rumbling. 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 Dun, dun. <laughs> I'm hype, man. I love seeing the twin horns again, bro. I loved it. Anyway. If you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate y'all so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It helped the boy out. Also, sub to the channel because I'm bringing different live reactions weekly. We got Chainsaw Man dropping. We got Blue Lock, Pers um, Prince Tennis, as well as other models, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.